Pac-Man came out at the beginning of the birth or the craze of video games. Um, it came out, it was a game that wasn't shoot them, kill them, bleed them. It was a soft-hearted game. It had a little story to it. It was cartoonish. It did appeal to women. It appealed to men too. It appealed to kids. So that's why it became the most popular game, I'm sure. But for many people, like myself included, it was the very first introduction I had to a computer. It took that computer, which was a very intimidating thing in 1980, and it made it not intimidating, it made it fun. Hi, I am Reggie, the robot host of the Cliff's Edge TV. Back in 2019, the Micro Museum invited the Cliff's Edge to help organize an event to celebrate the 40th anniversary of one of video gaming's most treasured icons, Pac-Man. <laughs> But then disaster struck. As the micro museum's plans to reopen at Easter were interrupted by a virus and the entire world went into lockdown. There's a new virus in the database. It's replicating, eating up memory. Uh, what do I do? We have a zero bug attacking all login and all the way files. The rabbit is in the administration system. Send a flu shot. Rabbit, flu shot, someone talk to me. A rabbit uh, replicates till it overloads a file, then it spreads like cancer. Cancer? Well, <laughs> uh, anybody in their right mind is not going to lock down the world uh, for that uh, statistic, are they? I mean, it's, I mean, it's, it's sad that, um, um, uh, how are we going to deal with that? How about some sanity, people? I've told Mike time and time again, he needs to update his antivirus software. Mike is still recovering from the millennium bug. Carol asked if the Cliff's Edge could put together a short video about the history of Pac-Man for the Micro Museum's new YouTube channel. Unfortunately, Nick has given up his video gaming interests, and was last reported to be selling toilet paper on the brown market. I guess that answers the question of what happens if you cross Mad Max with the Andrax puppy. So, once again, I guess it is up to me to put together this short video about the history of Pac-Man. Pac-Man was released in 1980, and is the mascot of the Japanese video game company Namco. I invited some of the other museum volunteers to share their recollections of Pac-Man. However, none of them got back to me. Maybe they disconnected their modems. Therefore, I have decided to simulate their responses using my advanced artificial intelligence algorithms. David, tell us about your recollections playing Pac-Man. Hmm. Maybe we should let Taro Iwatani, the creator of Pac-Man, explain why he thinks his game has such enduring popularity. あの、パックマンは、え、私にとっては、え、いたずらの表現なんですね。昔から私は小さい子供の時からえ、いたずらの、ま、トラップを仕掛けて、え、人がそのトラップに引っかかって、え、困ってるのを脇で見てて喜ぶ。そういうのが好きだったんですね。で、え、さらにその後こう、ま、まだ当時キャラクター性のなかったゲームにキャラクター性を用いて、え、ま、ま、アートとしてデザインをまずしたかったと。